Hey everyone, it's me Alex, welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to my computer setup. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Magic Sync to your computer. So this is if you want to live stream with your Magic Sync. You've seen videos before that I've just shown the phone and the TV screen. Well now you can plug it into your computer to make it look and sound better. So you would see as if you were watching the TV. So it's cool if you want to live stream or just record videos on your Magic Sync. Just a quick note, if you are gonna live stream and play music, I don't know if this is true, I think it has happened, but I think it has to be 30 minutes in. If we're playing music for 30 minutes in, you could get a live copyright claim and YouTube could uh, suspend your live just for that until it stops. So I've noticed that I haven't done that before, but if it does happen, YouTube could, like if it's playing nonstop, like music, let's say you want to put another song, another song, another song. And if they catch music like repeated with the melody, they could give you a live copyright claim. Not sure, uh, you can just delete the video and it'll be back. But I don't know how that works. I've seen it happen before. So things you, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you need to accomplish this. Uh, I am using my MacBook Pro for this video. Just know that this will work the same if you have a Windows computer. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you need. Okay, so to make all this possible, you're gonna need the HDMI video capture device. So this would plug in directly to your PC, or if you're like me, you have a MacBook, you need to buy one of these from Apple. It converts USB to uh, USB-C, so I can plug it into my computer. None of this would affect the way you do it. If you just have a Windows PC, you would just use this and plug it in directly. So that's the first thing you're gonna need. I'll go ahead and move that to a side. You're gonna need an HDMI cable to plug it into the HDMI video capture device. You are gonna need a AV to HDMI converter. I don't know, I bought this because I have a smart TV and now I can't plug in my Magic Sync to the TV. So I don't know if this is different. I'm probably, they sell an AV to, um, they probably sell an AV to a uh, capture device. I don't know, but I'm doing this the old way. So I'm gonna have one of these. And uh, this HDMI actually came with the converter. So I did not provide this HDMI cable. I'll just go ahead and plug it in and we'll go step by step. You're gonna need your uh, Magic Sing. And you're, oh, sorry, I didn't mention, you're gonna need a power brick because this requires power, the converter. Uh, the, this, the uh, AV to HDMI. And your Magic Sing with its cable. So. First step, what you want to do is, uh, I'm not going to show this, but I have to plug this into power. Uh, if you want to, you can run your Magic Sync on batteries or AV. Uh, no, sorry, AC power adapter. So first step is grabbing your Magic Sync cable and plugging it into the converter. So we're going to plug in uh, white to white, red to red, and a white to white. And as you can see, now this is, oh. Sorry, it's connected my HDMI. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug it in to here. So there we go. So technically now we have our video source. So this other end, I'm gonna go ahead and move this down because this is not important anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our HDMI and plug it into the other end here. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my computer. There we go, it's in. So from this other end, it's like a normal, like if it was plugged into your TV. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the uh, AV adapter and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and insert batteries. I'm not gonna use the AC power adapter because I don't have enough outlets, but you could use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. I'm gonna go ahead and insert batteries and then we'll be right back with the video. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and got my batteries. I got a new fresh set of batteries. Let's go ahead and insert them. Don't worry if you are gonna use the AC power adapter, this won't affect if you use battery or AC. So now what's left, we're plugged in. Before we turn it on, we wanna go ahead and open up OBS. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you a view to my computer. So this is the view of my computer monitor. So you, what you first wanna do is create a scene. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the plus once you open it. It's, uh, I'll put the link if you wanna download OBS. Uh, you're gonna need it <laughs> to up, uh, do videos. I'm gonna click on plus. And we, I already named this one, you just put a name. So let's say HDMI. Let's do scene two. So there we go, there's nothing here. As you can see, it's blank. We're gonna click on plus, cause we don't, Oh, well, that looks bright. But we're gonna click on plus, and we're gonna click on, um, uh, where is it? Uh, video capture device. And we're gonna choose, uh, right here, as you can see, it's found the HDMI capture, we're gonna click okay. Uh, device, uh, USB video, and there we go. The blue screen means we don't have an audio, I mean, sorry, uh, sync. Perfect. Uh, if you don't want this to move, you want to get rid of those lines. Those aren't going to show to your viewers. This is just if you want to move it around. I'm going to click on lock so we don't get that and we don't move it. So perfect. We're live. Um, we're not live yet. I mean, we're ready. That's no signal, but we want to adjust so we make sure we have audio. We're going to go ahead and click on settings and we're going to go click on audio. 
And we want to find a uh, mic. I already have one as my MacBook Pro. I don't want to move this one for my microphone. Uh, zoom audio device. And three, as you can see, is USB digital audio. So we're gonna click on that. But as you can see, oh, well, you want to make sure it's not muted. We don't want to have this dot or this red button. As you can see, if it's red, there's not going to be any audio. Well, you weren't going to hear anything. So we want to make sure it's on. And then on the right, you can do a live stream. You can connect your Gmail. So we can go ahead and start uh, live streaming. Or if you want to record it and then just upload it later, you can go ahead and do that. So what's left is let me just turn up my volume on my computer. So what's left now is turning on your magic sync. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and so I'm going to show you a demo. So I'm going to import like how it looks a different. So right now I'm going to show you the normal way how it would be like I usually record. So I'm going to click and start recording. As you can see, we're recording already. So this would be a normal demo. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, turn off my main mic volume because I don't want to do any feedback. So that would be a normal default way you always see me do my videos. But let's show you the real way how it looks like now. Perfect, you just saw that demo. So, as you can see, we're still recording. So let's say I wanna play my song. I'm just gonna also look, lower this because I don't wanna like blow up my speakers. So let's do our head of normal song. As you can see, it's recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and then I'll put them side by side so you can see. So that's really cool. I find this cool so you can have a cool video. As you can see, oh, well, I muted my audio. Let me just end this. Let me just go ahead and turn down my main mic so you can see me talking with echo. You can hear me like if it was me on the camera. So you can see me talking with echo. You can hear me like if it was me on the camera. Just go ahead and lower this again. And everything works. It's like you just had it connected, but now you're showing live feed like if it was a TV. So that's pretty much it on how to connect your Magic Sing to your TV, I mean OBS via your computer. So let's go ahead and stop recording. As you can see, it's gonna show you where it saved it. So then you can upload that video later on YouTube. So that's pretty much it, it's pretty basic and easy. All you just need to buy is a HDMI capture device, uh, the H uh, AV to HDMI converter and your Magic Sing, of course. You can, of course, use the sub mic if you want to. But as you can see, it's going on in my computer right now. So that's pretty much it. If you guys want to see me do a cool, uh, if you want to see me do a video, like me plugging it into a video of like a score, you go ahead and tell me. I'll post one after this video just so you guys can see how it looks. I'll do score 100 so you guys can see like the difference of how cool it looks. So it's, that's pretty much it. If something went wrong with great, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your question and I'll see where it went wrong for you. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. If not, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Make sure to subscribe for more Magic Sync videos. See you guys next time. Bye!